Greetings. I'm Kristen Koptiuk. I'm an older white woman sporting bleach blonde, somewhat spiky, short hair, wearing a black sweater. My pronouns are she, her. I recently retired from Arizona State University. For nearly three decades, academic fate placed me in the desert metropolis of Phoenix, Arizona, a sprawling edge city whose spatiality is more surround than center. I had to learn from and comprehend the perplexing unurban urbanism of my city. My teaching the city irrepressibly seeped beyond the classroom and eventually escaped it altogether. Since 2002, I taught four courses in the urban laboratory of Metro Phoenix, engaging students in hands-on qualitative ethnography and visual documentation. These collaborative research adventures turned students into intrepid urban ethnographers, grounded in key urban concepts, inspirational readings, and basic fieldwork techniques. In learning from South Phoenix, we explored the rapidly changing urban culture and social space of a historically redlined and disinvested barrio-ghetto area of the city. Its agricultural lands had become coveted by housing developers and were undergoing rapid colonization, a kind of gentrification by whole new housing subdivisions. Students had to learn to read the cultural and built environmental landscapes of the established Old South Phoenix and the emergent New South Mountain Village. Students' stories often cast a noirish shadow on the relentlessly sun-drenched growth pitch by Phoenix boosters. In Ethnographic Field Lab, we took Phoenix as a transnational site where global borders merge into the heart of our local urban communities, creating spaces of tension and opportunities for crossings. Class took us all across the city as we tracked the localization of global religions at temples, churches, mosques. We're awed by a tour of transnational robotic silicon chip factory. Investigated the border of the Phoenix foreign trade zone and the historic Mexican barrio it displaced. Learned from and about migrants and refugee communities relished the locavore food movement as a hyperlocal response to globalized food production, discovered China in Phoenix, and lots more. In Global Cities, my student flaneurs adopted a virtual walking-in-the-city strategy by using digital technologies to go to cities in the Global South. This virtual being there was mesmerizing. Course themes compared vernacular and transnational urbanism and studied urban inequalities contrasting slums and evil paradise dream worlds. Each student researched a specific megacity and created a virtual global cities web portfolio to guide users on a critical tour of their city. Our joint website made for a pretty cool collaborative comparative project. Visualizing Immigrant Phoenix wasn't a course at all, but it could have been. We all worked our hearts out. It was a student-faculty collaborative research adventure sanctified by a modestly funded college award. For three semesters, I assembled small teams of students to do individual or team mini-ethnographies and visually document migrants' imprint upon the cityscape. We highlighted migrants' already thereness, their everyday urbanism remaking the city as planners from below. The work was so exciting, we turned it into a participatory exhibit that we presented at national conferences and local venues. I regret I had not started this project long before retiring. Note that my field-based courses met in a highly compressed schedule. Still, everyone agreed that we never had enough time. Cinematic event scene activities helped students get their footing. As professor, I learned to relinquish control. Students exceeded my expectations. My learning from South Phoenix class always spent a day volunteering with Habitat for Humanity. They learned live how to build the house a family would soon call home. Students went home exhausted but exhilarated to have helped do something meaningful. 
they'll never think of affordable housing as they did before. Field-based learning ingrains habits, skills, and dispositions, a kind of habitat habitus, which transfers beyond that transformative experience itself. Teaching the city as experiential learning especially cultivated students' appreciation of the vibrant everyday urbanism practiced by planners from below. Hands-on fieldwork and communicating their insights to public audiences created meaningful engagement with their city. It brought to life course materials, concepts, theories. It made for an unforgettable learning experience. Do it. <laughs>